guys, it's your girl Nea and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year, you guys. I am literally filming this on January 1st, 2023. So crazy. I was on live last night, so if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me getting ready last night for New Year's. But this is the first video officially of the new year. And for today's video, I'm coming at you guys with the fragrances I am bringing into 2023. Now, how I see 2023, I just feel like this is going to be my era. Like, 2023, a new year, I feel like it's just giving, like, bad girl, like, bad bitty. Like, it's your year. So, I feel like starting off a new year, you really want to enter with, like, those sexy fragrances. Like, show them you're that girl. I know I'm going to get on my game. Like, I'm never going to leave the house in pajamas. Like, I'm going to stay cute, be on my fragrances, just be on my stuff overall. So if you're like me and you want to enter the new year feeling like you're that girl, and if you don't know what fragrances you should be wearing throughout the year of 2023, I got you. I picked out a bunch of fragrances, very sexy fragrances. I even have a few perfumes thrown in here. So if you are ready, before we get into this video, don't forget to follow me on all my social medias as always, which is TikTok and Instagram. And without further ado, let's just get right into it. it feels so weird filming again because i've been kind of gone for so long you guys know like vlogmas didn't end up working out because technical issues and i got sick and then like it's my first time filming in so long so i'm kind of like out of practice but to kick off this video first fragrance up is you're the one of course i'm bringing you're the one into 2023 you're the one is just that sexy date night fragrance Honestly, you could sell this in a glass bottle for like $200 and someone would buy it because it smells like a perfume. Oh, it smells so good. It really does smell like a perfume. I feel like this is going to be my go-to scent. Like you guys see, you're the one. It's up to here right now. I bet by the end of 2023, it's going to be like halfway gone, more than halfway. I love you're the one. It's very sweet, but also very, very mature. I have the full set. I do have the spray, the lotion, and then the shower gel is in my shower. The scent notes for You're the One is white birch, velvety rose, and a drop of strawberry nectar. A lot of people think You're the One is such a special fragrance because of that strawberry nectar. Because it's not like too much strawberry to the, where the point it's like more of a fruity fragrance. Like it literally says a drop of strawberry nectar. So that little bit of strawberry they put in here just makes this scent so perfect and i'm telling you you want to be that girl you want to smell like that girl you want to get compliments when you walk by you want to have somebody's neck break in to see what you got on you're the one is that scent i promise you're the one is that scent the next fragrance we're bringing into 2023 is sweet whiskey now i went through a love hate relationship with sweet whiskey when it first came out i was like mm, and i kind of passed it up and then towards like, it came out with, I think, a fall collection. And then when winter was coming around, this is like last year, when winter was coming around, it went on sale. And I loved it. I loved it. And I was so sad. This always happens to me. I always fall in love with fragrances when they're about to leave or when they're about to retire. And then it's like so hard to find the fragrance because it's literally about to retire. But I love Sweet Whiskey now. I think the month of like... September I was just like in love with it like as soon as fall hit I was wearing this like every day all day it just smells so good it's so like mm, it's just literally like it smells like that girl this is another fragrance that I feel like definitely belongs in a perfume bottle it does not smell like body spray at all it definitely smells like a perfume so good like it smells like there's amber in here maybe even bergamot let's see how close i was these 10 notes are golden amber vanilla infused whiskey and sweet red berries anything with red berries is gonna automatically smell like a perfume red berries is like pomegranate elderberry cherry any of those dark berries is usually automatically gonna smell super like grown like just like that girl so for this set, I do have the lotion, and then I have the glitter mist, and then I have two of the mini sprays. Like I said, I fell in love with this fragrance when it was about to be discontinued, so I don't have any, like, of the full-size sprays, but I do have two minis, and sadly, I don't have the shower gel, but that's okay. <laughs> I just love this fragrance. I, I can't wait to use it. I feel like this is going to be, like, my V-Day scent, like, for Valentine's Day. I think I'll definitely be pulling this out for the month of February. I don't know. It's just giving me, like 
February and March vibes. I don't know, y'all. I'm telling you, I just love it. And it really does smell like that, girl. Sweet Whiskey has gotten me a lot of compliments, even within my house. Like, as soon as I walk out my room, my family's already like, you smell good. Like, what are you even wearing? And I know one time, they're like, did you take my perfume? I'm like, girl, ha have you seen my room? Trust me, I don't need your perfume. Got my own. Thank you. <laughs> no, but yeah, this scent is definitely a compliment getter and an eye catcher. So if you want all eyes on you when you're walking past the room, get sweet whiskey. All right, so these last few fragrances are like very sexy fragrances. So if you want something a little more light and fruity, but still smells really pretty, really sexy, the next perfume is Pure Seduction. You guys know I love Pure Seduction, always have, always will. For this, I do have the lotion and then the glitter mist. And I think, oh no, I don't have the original Pure Seduction. I have the Pure Seduction Crystal, but in the regular Pure Seduction, I do have the Shimmer Mist. I love it smells so good i wear this one all the time it gets me so many compliments this one's like very girly like the last two fragrances really gives you like whoa like that girl it smells like she's wearing a real perfume pure seduction gives you that same vibe but just a little bit toned down like pure seduction it lasts but it doesn't so it might not get you like all the eyes in the room but i promise you still will get some type of compliment with this one because it just smells so good it's so strong and the glitter mist is so pretty if you're ever wearing like like showing a lot of skin and you wear this like you look like literally a disco ball in the best way I love Pure Seduction. It really just smells so girly. Like, this is, like, just, like, that pretty girl fragrance. Like, something just, like, a pretty girl would wear. Like, I don't even know how to describe it, but it just smells so good. These side notes are Juiced Plum, Crushed Freesia, and All Night Long. Anything with Freesia in it, I love. Give it to me. Give it to me. I love anything with Freesia. Okay. What should we pick next? Um, let's pick a Victoria's Secret scent. All right, so one of the Victoria's Secret scents that I'm definitely going to bring with me into 2023 is Heavenly. I got this last year for Christmas. Now, this smells so good. I'm actually going to show you guys another fragrance with this one. So another fragrance I want to take with me into 2023 is In the Stars. Now, these are so similar. It's like they're not twins, but they're sisters so similar but also so different but in the best way in the stars it's like that toned down but also such a mature girly fragrance in the stars just smells so good you can smell like amber sandalwood just like very woody notes but also like the amber really makes the scent a little more bright and i feel like heavenly is just the darker version of in the stars in the stars is still like a very light lifted scent but heavenly is just like so much darker like if you're going on a daytime date wear in the stars if you're going on a nighttime date wear heavenly heavenly is just it smells heavenly like oh my god it smells so good so good like, they almost resemble cologne, but obviously not quite because, okay, it's like they have, like, that cologne resemblance, but they still smell feminine to the point where, like, a girl would wear them, if that makes sense. I don't know, y'all. Heavenly is just, like, it's just giving date night. And if you wear this on a daily, I promise you're going to get so many compliments because nobody can, like, walk past someone wearing Heavenly and not compliment them. It smells so good, it's so strong, and in the stars gives that same effect. So it's kind of like pick your poison. If you wanna go for something a little more cheap and like get the full set for a little bit cheaper, grab in the stars. If you wanna go more expensive, go all out. Get like a prettier bottle, cause I think this is so cute and like classy, especially to like display on your vanity. Go to Victoria's Secret, get this. And they even have this in like the perfume, like the glass bottle, so you can even get that. But honestly, pick your poison. Either one will have you smelling like that girl for 2023. Another Victoria's Secret fragrance is Dream Angel. I also got this one last year for Christmas. This was one of my favorites. I fell in love with it the day I smelled it in the store and I immediately asked for it for Christmas. I'm so happy I got it. it smells so freaking good. So this one, okay, it smells so girly, but it also smells kind of powdery and like sexy and pretty like i don't know it just smells like everything like i feel like this is me this is naya in a bottle like if you want to know what i smell like on a daily or like 
what I would smell like. I feel like it's this fragrance right here. I wish with oh oh no they don't. I was gonna say I wish Victoria's Secret had fragrance smells. They don't. But if I was to describe this fragrance, okay. There's definitely some type of powder note. Possibly a flower. Like it's kind of floral, and it's also sexy. There has to be maybe like a like a little bit of amber some powder a flower i don't know y'all it's just a mix of everything like it's just literally a party in a bottle it smells so good and i just cannot wait to wear this throughout the year of 2023 as you can see i didn't wear it too much since last year i got it but i'm gonna break into this a little more for this year because i really do love it and it really does smell like that girl it really does Next up is a Bath & Body Works fragrance, and that is a Buttercups and Berry Bellini. Ugh, I have loved this one ever since I got it. It smells so good, really girly, really fruity. If you're looking for something a little more, like, fruity and girly and not, like, so, like, pow, grown women. Like, some people like to go a little lighter on their fragrances, and then some people love, like, the boom, like, pow in your face type of fragrances. I don't mind either one because all of these, as you guys can see, I'm bringing them with me into 2023. So honestly, like I said, this is more of like a pick your poison. If you want something more light and fruity, you can go for this. If you want something more like boom, like you're going to smell me, then go for this. But with Buttercups and Berry Bellini, it's just really fruity. It's a very pretty, fruity fragrance. Like, I feel like this is just a girly girl in a bottle. Like, if you're a girly girl, you're all into, like, pink and all the type of stuff that us girly girls like. I think this is a scent that you need. It's actually on sale right now for semi-annual. So before semi-annual sale ends, I definitely recommend you get this. I already have backups of this because I cannot live without this scent in my collection. Like, I hope you guys know it is that good. Like, this scent has to be in my collection. It is too good to not be in my collection these side notes are strawberry puree buttercup flowers and bubbly prosecco all right we're coming kind of close to the end so next up i do have some body butters that i am taking with me into the year of 2023 these next two things kind of go hand in hand so i'll explain the body butters first so the body butters i'm taking with me is tropic glow by tree hut and then a moroccan rose by tree hut now you guys can see i haven't really used moroccan rose much at all you can see like if the camera will focus i don't think it will okay there we go you can see like a few finger swipes but it smells really good i haven't really broken into moroccan rose too much tropic glow i use this one a lot as you guys can see like mm, what like a quarter gone but i mean more of this is gone than moroccan rose so at one point, I was so in love with Tropic Glow because I was wearing real perfumes. Now, that's where these last few products come in. So the perfumes I am bringing with me into 2023 is my holy grail dossier perfumes. If you guys don't know what dossier is or never heard of it, basically, they make high quality replicas. For example, Carolina Herrera perfume. They make their version of the Carolina Herrera perfumes or of Chant by Chanel or YSL Libre. And there is no difference. Like, they smell identical. Like, right here, I have Floral Lavender. I forget which one this is the replica of. Um, I don't know. I'll put on the screen what this is the replica of. And then I have Ambry Vanilla, which I'm pretty sure is their version of the Carolina Herrera Good Girl. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I could be wrong. I wish they would put, like what it's supposed to be on the bottle like fruity almond i wish like underneath they would put like what it's supposed to smell like but then i have fruity almond so good so basically they smell just like the real perfumes so the reason that i want to bring these with me into 2023 is because obviously i don't have the matching lotions to these perfumes but these body butters are just such a staple scent. Like, they're so basic, but they also bring so much to the table. Like, I could put on the Moroccan Rose Body Butter and pair any of my Dossier perfumes with it, and they just smell so good together. Same with Tropic Glow. When I was going through, like, my Tropic Glow phase, when I was using Tropical, like, every day, I think I was using Woody Hayachik up there, the perfume by Dossier, and Woody Hayachik is their version of Chance by Chanel. So I'll wear that with this. Like, I'm telling you, these body butters are just such good staple pieces and such good pairing pieces. If you need, like, some type of lotion, some type of scent to wear with your real perfumes, 
tree hut body butters are perfect they're such good pairing pieces pair moroccan rose with your carolina herrera perfume or pair moroccan rose with your ysl libre or your versace bright crystal or your miss dior literally like pear chopper glow same thing like these body butters are just such good pairing pieces and i love them and i cannot wait to take them with me into 2023 especially because i got a few new perfumes for christmas my christmas haul is coming but yes i just i can't wait to take these with me to 2023 dossier perfumes just so good they're just so good they last all day i've gotten a lot of compliments i think when i wore the one that's supposed to be the replica of Versace's Bright Crystal. I got compliments. And then when I wore the one that's supposed to be the replica of the Carolina Herrera, I got compliments. I always get compliments when I wear dossier. So yeah, because it smells just like the real thing. And I definitely will be taking them with me into 2023 because 2023 is going to be our era our bad girl era and we're going to smell good all 2023 but that is it you guys those are a bunch of scents and products i am bringing with me into the year of 2023 let's make this year a good one step into your era be that girl get on your hygiene get on your water intake get on your beauty just get on everything for 2023 we're gonna make this year a good one but yes these are the scents i am bringing with me forget all my other scents I, I only care about these. These are the only ones coming with me. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You guys know I love my collection. These are just scents that I'm really going to be eyeing towards this year because they're just those sexy fragrances. Like a new year, like I want to smell really good. And like I just want to have like that really sexy like, oh, like she's that girl. Like she smells good. Like I want to have like that type of scent, that type of persona. You know what I mean? But yeah, that officially brings us to the end of this video, you guys. Those are all the fragrances I am bringing with me into 2023. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get a notification every time I post a new video. Leave me a comment, share this video with a friend, and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Happy New Year! <laughs>